Hey everyone, it's Interman103. Uh, just coming to you with a recap of the game that I just played over the past four days. Um, so, this is uh, just G40. I'm playing it with all my house rules that I uh, showed you in my house rules video or my customizations video. So, uh, after that video, I said I was going to play a game right afterwards, and I did, and it went really well. Um, it ended in Axis Victory, um, but... Uh, Decided I'd play it again, and I did. I broke it out a few days ago. Like I said, I've been playing it over the past few days, and uh, it's been incredibly weird. So I'm just going to show you fly by the screen here. Not going to really explain what's going on yet, but I just want to show you guys and see if you notice some things that are kind of, kind of odd about what's going on. So there's a lot of stuff that happened in this game that uh, was, um, I don't know out of the ordinary, I guess you could say. Very, very out of the ordinary. So, uh, there's a lot going on. And, uh, so, like I said, it's been a few days, and, um, here you can see it's around 16, so that's why it's been taking so long, is because it's stalled, um, for a few of the main fronts so long that, uh, I just decided, you know, I'm gonna call it and, uh, so I'll tell you what ended the game. It was, uh, Moscow. The fact that Moscow fell is what made me decide to end it. So, um, Germans came into Moscow, uh, with just a crap ton of tanks. And, um, well, let, I'll tell you how this happened. So, it was turn 15, and the Germans went, and, uh, I took, didn't take any of the rest of turn, I took the Germans turn, the no Russians turn. And then I said, you know what, This I'm going to end the game. If Germany doesn't take Russia, the Allies win. And basically, if they do, the Allies lose. Uh, of course, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do victory conditions for my house rules in a moment. But, so I skipped the entire rest of um, turn five, 15, I mean. And I just did the German turn, the Russian turn, skipped the rest of round 15, and went straight back to the German turn, and took their turn, and they took Moscow just easily. I mean, with no um, resistance at all. So you can see, this is the Germans' hits on the first round of combat. They had uh, 24 hits, and that's um, two more than they needed, I think, to take it. Uh, so the Russians on the first round of combat only got six hits, destroyed six German tanks, and that's still what the Germans have left. And this isn't really focusing. But that's still what the Germans have left, though. So that is 5, 10, thir 13 tanks, 6 heavy tanks, and they got all their planes left. Two of their planes did get shot down by the those anti-aircraft. Um, but yeah, that was that was just horrific for the Russians. Um, the, the only rolling that's been really bad in the game is by the Japanese. The Japanese were the biggest losers in this game. They just... Just got garbage rolls the entire game. So you can see, China is completely just restored. All of China. So, Japan's just Korea and Japan. Then they have a few other islands, a few islands that they took. Um, but you see, the Allies have taken all these islands. And they're right here ready to do, start doing some uh, invasions of the homeland. Which they did once and took out all the infantry that were there. That's what they're left with, but again, I skipped the rest of round 15, so we don't know what the what what could have come of that. Um, yeah, interesting things. Uh, Africa, completely owned by the Axis until last round, on round 15, the Americans decided to land here, um, and they landed in Morocco. That was abruptly uh, just jumped on by the Germans, and the Germans were coming to counter uh, this landing as well, and they can they were building things here in the Union of South Africa. Um, but in terms of victory, based on looking at the board, I mean, Italy. Let's start with Italy. Italy started the game so poorly. Okay? They had horrible rules, rolls, and um, just started the game looking like the Axis were going to lose because Italy could not get off their feet. But uh, right now they have a sizable fleet there. Uh, three U-boats. Well, not U-boats, but subs. Three destroyers and one here, and they have five transports with plenty of uh, 
kickers there in men and artillery and a few tanks. And uh, they've taken all of North Africa, which is a victory condition of theirs, and uh, all the Middle East, and they've actually taken India, which is uh, the first time I've ever seen India taken by uh, an Axis power that is not Japan. So uh, they took India with a bunch of tanks, and then took those tanks and took Yunnan, and then built more tanks here, and they would have continued doing that um, to dwindle down China and uh, distract them from this huge army right here to hopefully dwindle that down so the Japanese could uh, rig in a foothold. But again, I'm not going to have the game go on that long. Uh, I just want to just say, okay, I need something to determine the game's done so I can uh, count up victory conditions and see who's winning. Okay, so there's Italy. They did uh, really, really well in the end. Uh, Japan, <laughs> like I said, they did not do well. They uh, That's all they have left. They have no boats, zero ships left on the entire board that's 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 bad okay that is horrible oh and you know what that was supposed to be convoyed this turn so there's that if that helps so those kamikazes that shows that uh, all six kamikazes were used in the sea battle here um when the americans came in and took out the japanese fleet uh, and they were still left with those u-boats uh, boats i keep calling them u-boats submarines those six and these six, which came down there from uh, down from there the last turn, and those two battleships, and that carrier, and the two transports. So the Americans had their way, for sure. And then Germany, Germany, uh, <laughs> turn three. So I'm gonna tell you guys that this was the first time that I ever attempted a sea lion, well, uh, fully dedicated to sea lion as Germany. Yes, as shocking as that might be, it's true. Um, so you can see there's a fat stack of uh, transports there. Gee whiz, my words. And there's some transports there, transports there. There's a transport down here. And there's actually a transport that they took all the way from in the first rounds from there all the way down. And they've captured Malaya, which is interesting. And I've had to use the World War I German tokens because I actually ran out of the uh, World War II ones for the Germans They because they used so many here in, in Africa. Um, so the Germans, on round three, took London. It was the first attack of London. On round one, they built uh, two transports and a carrier. On round two, they built, I think it was, uh, seven transports. Yeah, it was. And that got them up to a total of ten transports. And then on round three, they just decided, you know what? We're taking six tanks, four artillery, and then ten men, and we're going to hit London. And they took all their aircraft and hit London along with those land units, and they bombarded it with what they had, and they took it. And they had two artillery left. <laughs> or, yeah, and then and then six tanks. And so six tanks are what uh, they brought down here and landed there when this used to be French, and that's what they used to take all of Africa. Um, two, these two are two of the original six tanks that were brought down, and the rest grouped up in Russia. The rest kind of came down here and then moved back around, moved up through the already Italian Middle East and uh, connected there in uh, Moscow. So, uh, yeah, so the Germans actually have just complete Atlantic control at this point. They could build, they can insta-fleet uh, because they're making, right here you can see they're making 85 IPCs. They loop the board, they loop the income chart. That's why this white chip's underneath it. Um, so it's 80, and then it loops back to 81, 2, 3, 4. So um, they're making 85 bucks uh, a round. So that, uh, that's pretty much anything that comes at you, you can counter in a turn. I mean, you can just insta-fleet, insta-tank army, insta-air force. They've been insta-air forcing for the past two rounds. All those tack bombers and six the round before. Um... But yeah, so that was Germany. Uh, for the Allies, America was definitely the most uh, successful of the Allies um, in terms of they wiped out Japan um, and they've set it up to where they're going to fall soon. Um, but the Commonwealth, I'd say, was Commonwealth and China were the second most effective in, in the fact that they were actually more to do with uh, Japan's downfall than the United States. Uh, the United States is just kind of the cleanup crew at this point. Um, but the Commonwealth in China really just whooped their behinds, and that had to do a lot with Kudai 
good die rolls. Um, Russia had a good first 10 rounds of the game, but the last uh, handful of rounds, uh, this happened. Uh, so for the first 9 or 10 rounds, there was no Russian territory lost because there was no combat until I think it was either round 9 or 10, Germany finally decided to take, it was, tw- it was 25 tanks and 4 heavy tanks and some ungodly number of infantry, like 30 plus infantry, and finally hit them in eastern Poland. They exploded in eastern Poland, and then Russia came back, and and Germany had um, a majority of it left. I think Germany only lost about 10 infantry total. It was 11 infantry exactly, actually, I remember that. And uh, Russia came back with all of their infantry and all of their about 25 tanks and took it back. And they had a lot of stuff left, too. Um, but once the German retook th- Germans retook that, Russians took it back. It was about three times. And then uh, they've been taking little stuff here and there. And, yeah, it's turned into this. So Russia did uh, actually really well in the first two or three total rounds of actually battling Germany. And then after that, it just kind of went south. And they've been getting crappy rolls ever since. Um, but yeah, and then, um, United Kingdom, well, uh, that's, uh, that's an interesting one, because they have one territory, and that's Brazil. So, uh, in the middle of the game, they came down here with a transport and landed two guys in, uh, British, uh, Guyana from London, because they knew the sea lion was coming, so they took two guys, put them on a transport, transported them down, put them in Guyana. Then uh, Sea Lion happened, and then said, you know what, why not? Activated Brazil, and they've been chilling there ever since. And that's been since round uh, three it was taken, but on round five, I think, is when they took Brazil. So it's been 11 rounds that uh, Great Britain has just been chilling there. Uh, Cairo was the biggest British um, success in the fact that they held it very, very well against the Italians for several rounds. It was around eight, I believe maybe nine, when they decided to, to finally start rolling poorly against the Italians. And the Italians did take it, obviously, and then exploded after that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how the game went, guys. Uh, so let's count up our victory points here. So I have a custom rule set for victory points, just like I do for some of the other stuff you saw if you watched my customizations video. Okay, so we're going to start with... Uh, actually, I need to find a pen and paper here. So I keep track of whose points are whose. All right, forgive me for a second as I kind of get my stuff in order here. So I have a paper. Get rid of that. And my pin's down here. Okay, here we go. Pen and paper. These guys out of the way. Okay, so... Whoa, shaky camera. Germany! Victory points. So, Germany, control of Berlin and Warsaw. Well, here, we'll do this. So, we'll do Germany. Control of Berlin and Warsaw is a check. Control of Leningrad and Stalingrad. Well, they do control Leningrad and Stalingrad, along with Moscow. So, that's another checkity check. Control of Moscow. Check and control of London. Checkity check. Okay, so... Germany has all the victory points they can get, which is outstanding for the Axis. Russia, control of Moscow. Yep. Uh, I don't think Russia's going to get any this round. Or this game. Uh, control of Leningrad and Stalingrad, nope. Control of Warsaw, and nope. Okay, we have Japan. Control of Iwo Jima and Okinawa. Well, actually, both of those islands are now in uh, Allied hands, so they don't get that one. Control of all Chinese territories. China, as you saw, was very much alive. Hawaii, nope. Sydney, nope. Majority of Pacific ships, they have zeros. So, uh, Japan also has a goose egg, but we'll ride in there. So, I think Germany made up for that in a, in a way. America, they do control Hawaii. So, we're going to write America here. And that one just looks like scribble. Gee whiz. Okay, America does control Hawaii. Uh, they do control the Philippines. China does still exist. So 
So that's the third. And they do not control Rome. That is something they uh, never got to do. So America has three. England's victory points. Control of London. Well, as you saw, that's a big fat nope. But we're going to write them here. England. Uh, control of all original territories. Actually, they control uh, Iceland. It's the only original territory they control. And allies control North Africa. They definitely don't do that either. So England, no points. A lot of countries are getting no points. Italy, control of Rome. Well, they have that one. I think it, Italy is going to get all their points here. So control of Rome is one. Control of the Mediterranean. For sure, they have a majority of ships there. So they get one for that. And Axis control North Africa. That is also a true statement. Commonwealth. Control of Calcutta. Well, actually Italy took that. Funny enough. I'm just going to put uh, Canada here for this one. So that's where their capital moves. If, they're, if Calcutta is taken. Control of Hong Kong. Well, that is true. They did take Hong Kong since China survived. So, uh, whoop, well, there's that one. I accidentally wrote that. They were supposed to get that. And France. Allies control Paris. That is definitely not true. So there's the victory conditions and uh, victory points that each country can get. So here we go. We're going to write, uh, like you can already see, this is an Axis victory. And allies. Come on. So the Axis have four for Germany. One, two, three, four. And three for Italy. One, two, three. And the allies have three for America. One, two, three. And one for the Commonwealth. One. So this was a 7-4 to four game, so yeah, it was an astounding Axis victory. There's no question to who won, and you can tell that just by looking at the board. Africa's German, Russia's fallen, so basically in Europe, huge success. Um, in uh, Asia is where the Allies got all their victory points, but the majority of their victory points lie in Europe, and they weren't able to get them. So... Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy it. And there's uh, there's these victory conditions. If you want to go back and read them, uh, you can and see what they uh, consist of. And uh, hopefully you guys will be playing this one soon because it is incredibly fun to play with these rolls. Uh, heavy tanks, amazing. Absolutely beautiful for Germany. Um, cavalry were good, but uh, Japan did not use its resources correctly, obviously. And uh, the Commonwealth is the best customization about this whole thing. VT France was um, actually very fun. They didn't get to do anything because London was taken before they could buy anything in London. Um, but VT France, uh, this turn VT, this turn VT, this turn VT, the destroyer here turned VT. So that was fun actually because this destroyer that turned VT is actually the destroyer right here. It never uh, got killed. So, uh, <laughs> It's uh, definitely been a fun game. Thanks, guys, for sticking around and just watching this this short little kind of tidbit of what I've been up to. I've also been customizing my board. If you couldn't tell, I got these new white chips from Historical Board Gaming just because they pop more than those gray ones. The gray chips, I, to me, they just make the board feel so dull. Um, I also got these new air bases and navy bases. Got their new convoy pieces, the new kamikaze pieces, and I got a bunch more of these... Uh, these damaged chips you can see i got a bunch of these now so that's going to help in the pacific when uh the big german or german japanese and american battles happen there's there's tipped carriers and tipped battleships so yeah thanks for sticking around just wanted to show you guys what i've been up to and let you know that i'm not dead i'm still here i'm still here guys still doing stuff even though i'm not making videos i still play the game i'm still customizing all right, I look forward to seeing you guys in the near future. Love you all. Peace out.